Hey, this is Gigi. I want to make a quick video. You know I've been talking about the dereliction of duty of the governing body. Uh, here they want to play religion and they're supposed to be feeding the sheep, but they're derelict of duty and the responsibility to protect the people. Uh, it is the job of religious leaders to educate the people of the current events of what's happening in the world and how they can be protected. Case in point, we saw in the major breaking news about the social security numbers being broken into. But we know that everything that we see now is a lie. See, we see a news report and, and instantly, the first thing you should look, think is when you see this report is this is a lie. And guess what? It is a lie because with every crisis, you don't want it to go to waste. So all of a sudden we have a crisis that all of these social security numbers have been leaked and now your credit and all, all everything else is uh, being compromised. True. So now the government can come in with a solution but Donald Trump says, no, we don't want this solution. We don't want a government-issued central bank digital currency where all of your medical information, all of your, your whole life history, what high school you went to, what hospital you were born into, everything about you would be in a new social security number, a new central bank digital ID. Now you say, well, Gilbert, uh, Donald Trump says we're not going to do it. But look what's happening here already. Some states, not California, not New York, look at that. Some states are already pushing for this. And then what's happening in Europe? Look what's happening in England. The prime, you know, it's already do a done deal. So the point is, is that one, whenever you see anything in the news, it's a lie. And you have to think, why are they showing me this? Think that way. And then you come to find out that what we're seeing here, could it be a mark of the beast? And if this were the mark of the beast, as a religious leader, I would say, this could very well be mark of the beast. Yeah, I may be wrong. But let's just say it's a 50-50 chance, that 50% possibility that it's a mark of the beast of Revelation, what can you do? Let's say 50% it's not. Then what can you do? So, as a religious leader, you don't have to be like, this is why Watchtower is derelict of duty, because they're stupid. And they'll say, you know, you, you guys already read the book of Revelation that Watchtower has as grand climax at hand. But the point being that if this is true, which it is about the social security numbers, is this done on purpose so that way you can bring in chaos and then say, hey, we have a solution for you. We'll fix your credit. We'll cancel out those loans that were put in your name. Just take this digital ID. Could that be what's going to happen? You have to create chaos so that way you can offer a solution. And religious leaders should be telling their members, this is a 50-50 possibility in my opinion, of whether this is the mark of the beast. Some of you have strong opinions. But the job of a religious leader is to inform and educate and, per, uh, and, and protect the flock. You protect them by educating, educating them, and then every member can do as they see fit and can make wise decisions. So this is, again, why the latest news that is breaking right now, in my opinion, goes to show why you have to leave the Jehovah's Witness religion. The governing body is derelict of duty on everything. They're liars, and they can't even tell the truth about 1914. They can't tell the truth about 1975. They can't tell the truth about the overlapping generation. They just can't tell the truth. They can't even tell you the truth about beards. They're derelict of their duty, and Jesus will make them pay. Not because I said so, because Jesus said that he who has been given much, much will be demanded in, in return. These people want all the benefits of being governing body religious leaders. But they're derelict of duty and they will pay for not protecting the sheep.